If you're brand new to mass notification or you've got a hundred mass notification system design and installs under your belt, these 10 questions are going to take you miles down the road towards designing your mass notification system for your application. Hey folks, I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics, a manufacturer of high quality security and communications products in Hudson, Wisconsin, US of A. On this channel, we bring you product info, tech updates, and industry trends. So be sure to like this video if you do and subscribe to the channel and click that bell for all the notifications of new video releases. In this video, I've got 10 questions to help with mass notification system design. They're not really in any order, so let's dive in. Question number one is going to tell you a lot. Is this an emergency notification or is this a non-emergency notification? You can begin in your mind assessing the whole scenario of your mass notification based on this question. If it's an emergency notification, like say there's a lockdown for a school, you can begin to imagine, okay, there's going to probably be an overhead page. There might be some lighting that turns on. There might be a phone call placed to authorities outside of the school. And there may be access control systems that get activated to lock certain doors and unlock other doors. You know, another thing to consider is the person who's initiating the mass notification probably can't hang around. Conversely, if it's a non-emergency application, like the store will be closing in 15 minutes, please bring all your goods to the front. Never heard that one before. Now you can start to think, okay, this is casual. It might not need somebody to actually initiate the mass notification. It might be able to do it automatically. Probably gonna be a page. Okay, so how do you access the paging system? Does anything else need to go off at the same time? Question number two, what is the mass notification? Is it, you know, like a fire alarm going off? Is it a, a message, a custom recorded message, like I mentioned earlier? It's important that the device you select is capable of, you know, playing the tones that you want or that you can upload your own custom messages. Question number three, how is the mass notification being communicated? Overhead page is a common one. It could be a phone call. It could be a number of phone calls, maybe to a list. It could be an email, a text message. Question number four, are there existing tone or message generators already a part of this system? From one perspective, could we use that to potentially do some of the work for us in our mass notification system? Like, does it have additional inputs we can use? Does it have the capacity we could use already in place so we don't have to go and add more? On the flip side of that, is it going to be competing with us? Like if you've got two devices that could both go off at the same time, are they going to bump into each other and cause problems because they're both trying to use the paging system and they're the same priority and they're cutting each other off or you're hearing all of it and you don't know what to do? Which brings us really nicely into question number five. You need to consider the priority of your mass notification. It's not always top priority. Certain things that could get prioritized uh, you know, in this list in no particular order would be voice paging, background music, bell schedules for you know, like a break. And then somewhere in there, the mass notification fits in. So story time here, just to indicate the importance of mass notification. I was buying a gift for my wife from a big box retailer when a tornado touched down. It was like 9.45 p.m. and the store was closing in 15 minutes. I couldn't check out while there was a tornado there because all of the employees needed to be at the back of the building, but I didn't want to leave. I was free to leave, but the, I didn't want to leave because I was there getting my wife a gift and I didn't want to leave without the gift. It's so important to have your priorities right because if this mass notification is going off saying, hey, 15 minutes to close, bring all your goods to the front, and all the employees are in the back and there's a tornado outside by the big glass storefront, you kind of want your emergency notification to have a higher priority than your automatically scheduled announcement. Question number six, who or what is triggering the mass notification? Is this a machine that's providing a contact closure or an alarm panel doing the same thing? Is it a person calling into the unit and using touch tones to activate a certain tone or message to play out? Is it uh, automatically timed announcement like I mentioned earlier with the, the store closing or maybe it's a you know class bell schedule for a school or a break schedule for manufacturing? Who or what is triggering that mass notification? Question number seven, who is the intended audience for this mass notification? Now, it might seem pretty kind of like a no-brainer that like, yeah, I want everyone to hear this, but that's not always the case. You know, you, you certainly could have something that 
broadcast to everybody, like fire, tornado. But you might want something that just broadcasts to a select group of people, like maybe there's a chemical spill and this certain area of the warehouse or manufacturing needs to evacuate. Or you could have something that notifies a single person, hey, this machine needs to come be turned back on or the temperature here is wrong and you need to come look at it. And that plays right into question number eight. Is the intended audience local or are they off site somewhere? Like a fire, you're probably just gonna notify people on site, right? Well, actually, maybe not because the system might need to place a phone call out to a fire department. Conversely, I know a lot of energy utilities will have remote substations that have monitoring devices that provide a relay closure if something goes wrong. The relay closure triggers a dialer that calls a list of people. Hey, if you're getting value from this video, like the video, you know, hit that thumbs up, let us know, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already, and hit the bell for notifications. We've got uh, questions 9 and 10 coming up, and I've got a bonus number 11 for you as well. Question number nine. We've talked about it kind of throughout our list here, but what types of communication services need to be in place? Do they need a phone line dedicated for this mass notification system? Is it VoIP phone service? Do they need to get a new license or seat? Is it a paging application where they need a paging system in place in order to broadcast the tones or messages that you're trying to play back? Question number 10, do they have lighting that needs to be activated as a part of this system? That could be strobe lights, it could be emergency exit lighting, you know, maybe there's some LED strips and then there's like an emergency sign, or, you know, do they need to turn lights off? Like if you're hanging out or you're caught in a classic Midwestern goodbye that seems to go on forever, they turn the light off on you and you're like, oh yeah, time to go, and then they turn the light back on so you can see where you're going. That could be a part of your system too. Question of the day. Now, I think there's a right answer to this question. It's sort of open-ended. I want you to prioritize these mass notification inputs from lowest priority to highest priority. A live voice page, fire alarm, background music, loud ringing, and a scheduled break time bell notification. Put your answer in the comment section down below. We'll see how many of you line up with what I'm thinking. Question number 11 for the bonus. Thanks for staying around. What additional systems need to be activated. Some examples would be an access control system. Do they need to lock down doors or unlock doors if it's like a fire where they need to get out of somewhere very quickly? Do they need to turn on cameras? You know, if there's an active shooter somewhere, does this mass notification system turn on cameras to track what's going on and potentially help nail a suspect? A fire alarm system, maybe they need sprinklers to turn on overhead. You want it all one function. Have tips of your own to add? Let us know in the comment section down below. Check out these additional resources for continued education. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.